But first, we begin with breaking news on Detroit's east side. The search for an inmate who was mistakenly released in late January from jail is over tonight. State police confirm Talion Brazil is in custody after a police chase and a crash near the Sunoco gas station on Harper and Connor. And that is where we find 7 Action News reporter Jen Schantz. And Jen, it looks like uh, there's still some stuff happening behind you. What can you tell us? Yeah, Brian Amira, a very chaotic scene here. It's still active. Michigan State Police still on scene as well as Detroit Police and those two cars involved in that crash and the driver of that Chevy Malibu there. Well, she's not happy with police tonight. She says her car's totaled because of this chase when she says the driver of that black car ran a red running from officers. And we are learning moments ago from police that that man is believed to be Brazil's brother. The police were chasing this guy and he ran into my car. That chase, according to state police, connected to the search for this man, Talion Stefan Brazil, who MDOC says was mistakenly released on bond by a sheriff's office in Portsmouth, Ohio, on January 21st after facing criminal charges there. So my car is total because the police decided to chase someone in an area where people are. Why the are you chasing somebody? MDOC says Brazil was not in the car that crashed into the Malibu. That driver taken into Detroit police custody. MDOC says he's believed to be Brazil's brother. Police initially thinking it was him. Brazil, who is now back in custody, was serving time in Saginaw on a series of felony gun and drug charges from back in 2010 when Ohio police picked him up. According to MDOC, instead of keeping Brazil in custody until his case was concluded in Ohio, he was let go on bond. Thursday, MDOC says it was alerted to the mistake and the search for Brazil started. They say they told Brazil's family he should turn himself in and that he didn't, which prompted this pursuit. Yes, my airbags deployed. I didn't even know that they were chasing him until I tried to get out the car. And they were standing on the side of the car and had their gun out and told me not to get out because they had him on the ground. Moments ago, we learned this chase started when NDOC's recovery task force was surveying a home on the city's east side. They believed Brazil was in. That black car reportedly left that house, and when officers tried to pull it over, the driver kept going, and that's when the chase started. Now, following that chase, officers then returned to that home where they say Brazil was, in fact, located. He was arrested without incident, and I'm told he will be taken back to Jackson to continue serving his time tonight. And again, his brother was also taken in to police custody. No word yet on charges there. We will keep you posted as this investigation continues. Live tonight on the city's east side, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.